and welcome back to Yoho Yoho's Bloggers Life for Me cooking section. And this week I'm going to talk about a different kind of recipe. These are great to make year round. I'm talking about the Boardwalk Brownie Recipes. These brownies are famous. I've only heard about them in the past year. I did, I've made them a ton of times since I got the recipe last year and I finally am getting around to filming it. You can find the Boardwalk Bakery. It's one of the resort hotels in the Epcot area at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And these are the fudgiest, best, I don't even know how to describe them because they're so good. I've tried recipes for Martha Stewart, Barefoot Contessa, and other brownie recipes, but nothing compares to these. They're just so chewy and soft and fudgy. And you can add anything that you like to this recipe. If you like peanut butter, if you like different kinds of nuts. Um, but yeah, these are the best brownies. And I'll go ahead and read the ingredients for you. You're going to need two sticks of butter, two cups of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of corn syrup, six eggs, one and one eighth cup of cocoa powder, six tablespoons of vegetable oil. I use canola oil because it's healthier and that's what I had. And finally, you will need two cups of flour. And I've already posted this recipe on my blog, so I'll put a link down below so you don't have to write all of this down. You can just print it out. But I'll be back in one second and we'll start baking. Okay everybody, the first thing that you want to do is to preset your oven to 350 degrees. And I've already cut up the butter into chunks and put in my mixer and I want to blend this with the um, sugar and cream it real good. I'll be back in a second when that's done. Okay, so I have the butters and sugars creamed, and the next thing we're going to do is to mix the corn syrup with the cocoa powder inside of this. Okay, I need to take, I need to scrape the utensil, so I will be right back after this. Okay, my mix is finally blended. You're going to need to scrape the bowl a bunch of times just to forewarn you. And the next thing we're going to do is add the eggs one at a time, and then after you mix all the eggs, you will mix in the oil and then the flour. And just make sure that you mix it well after each egg. I'm not going to bore you with you watching me mix six eggs, so I will be right back. Okay, so I have all my eggs mixed well, and I need to add the oil and the flour. Thank you. 
And I highly recommend the spindle that I have. It has kind of a spatula kind of material on the side of it. You do still need to scrape, but you don't need to scrape as much. Okay, I'm going to scrape the sides and then give it one more good mix and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of the mix into my cake pan. And I'm just going to spread this out and try to get it as even as I can. And I did spray my pan with some baking Pam spray beforehand. And this is very thick and heavy. Um, when I was pouring it in, it was kind of hard. That's why I didn't film it. It was kind of hard to do that and film at the same time. You definitely need a good spatula for these. And you just want to watch these. Um, the directions that I found online said you're only supposed to bake them for 10 minutes, and I knew that wasn't right. And let me see how long I baked these for. Um, mine took, I have a smaller oven since I have a double oven. So mine took around 45 to 50 minutes. Everyone's oven is different. So you just want to keep an eye on them to make sure you don't overcook them. And let me throw these in the oven and I will be back. Thanks. Okay, my brownies finally came out and this is the final product right there. They should be very chewy on the inside and a little bit of a crunch on the outside. And I cut one so you can see what it looks like. They're very, very fudgy on the inside and perfect pretty much. These are so freaking good. Of course, get your glass of milk, but I like to make these before our um, ski trip every year. And if you have any questions uh, about the recipe or anything like that, put the comment in the comments below or email me. Thanks and remember to subscribe to Yoho Yoho Bloggers Life for me and check out my blog. Thanks and have a Disney day.